Hey folks, JD here. And please excuse this unconventional sort of video uh, location. I'm in my living room uh, as it's we're getting closer to Christmas, as we've got Christmas presents arriving and everything else. The whole house is a tip. We're packing, we're getting the decorations out and whatever else. And um, quite literally, I got the printers running upstairs. The whole it's so loud, so I've come down here to sort of talk to you a little bit about about copper. Now I'm pretty late coming in on the bandwagon with this, to be honest, and the reason for that is is because I've been having to think over the past couple of weeks to see exactly how I think this is going to affect my channel and how then ultimately it means whether I'm going to continue to to to, to make videos on YouTube or if I'm going to stop. So um, first of all, let's let's look at what this video isn't. This isn't legal advice. This isn't how I think you should run your channel. This is just my thoughts, my impressions on how I am going to run my channel. Um, and it shouldn't be listened to as legal advice because I'm an absolute buffoon and I have no legal experience whatsoever. So um, now that we've got all that out of the way, what is COPPA? So COPPA, I think it's the Child Prevention Agency, I think, in America. I might have that wrong. Um, but essentially, there's been a load of violent cartoons put out under the guise of being kid-friendly over the past few years. Kids have stumbled upon them and it's been, you know, things about self-harming, and um, some really nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. And um, I mean, I, I I like my own sadistic cartoons, adult cartoons, like you know, Happy Tree Friends, you know, South Park and stuff like that. They've been around for years, you know. And but they're clearly badged up as adult cartoons. They're not just creators having a laugh and seeing how far it can go, you know. So um, I'm. <sighs> What I think of the whole thing, well, YouTube has to employ a mechanism, doesn't it? It has to, to sort of take control. It has to understand that even though there are parental controls out there and even though there are ways to stop kids from stumbling or to try and help to stop kids stumbling upon this, there, 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 there's, there's no surefire way of 100% getting rid of it. I mean, there's the YouTube Kids app, but even those videos were, were leaking out. There were still some, some videos leaking out on there which weren't kid-friendly. Um, so for the past couple of weeks, I've been talking to friends of mine who have kids. I don't have kids. Um, and I've been trying to understand how they employ parental controls. Do they employ it? Do they use it? Uh, all with the guise of copper. Then I've been telling them about, about what I've got to do about going through and marking all my videos as either kid-friendly or not kid-friendly. I'll get onto that in a bit. And um, basically some of them have said, well, we have employed parental controls, but we didn't really know a lot about it. And then they've locked online and, uh, you know... Uh, it's sort of a gray, there's a couple of gray areas in that so i've tried to help them where 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 i could but at the same time it, it's a very personal thing because you know what you want your kids looking at and what you don't you know and as a not as, as a non-parent that's not something i can sort of advise uh or would even want to to be honest with you so um that's that is its own issue i think in itself but what copper means for a lot of YouTubers, and I've seen a lot of larger channels which have said, right, that's it, I'm off, not doing any more with this, uh, because there are some, if you mislabel your videos, there are some massive, massive fines. I mean, they are talking about $42,000 per video, and I have a thousand videos up here. You know, it, it, it is it, it is scary. It's very scary. And as a, as a, as a creator, as somebody that I, I enjoy making videos, I have a multitude of hobbies. Uh, I enjoy every single one. I want people to try and enjoy it with me. Maybe somebody has started 3D printing or starting quadcopter flying because of a video they've seen on my channel. I don't know. But at the same time, I make videos because I enjoy it. It's not a job. It is a hobby for me. I have a very, very good job. Uh, unfortunately, it's because of that I'm able to, to bring you exciting stuff and new videos and things, new products and things I think you would enjoy. And um, so I, even though YouTube does pay me, uh, does pay me um, a monetary value, I do, I do get a monetary value from YouTube, but I've never hidden that fact at all. Um, it is, it is a small amount of money in comparison to my my larger job. <coughs> Excuse me, still not one hundred percent. Excuse me. So, um, so. Essentially, um, I'm not going to stop making videos. I'm going to keep. I'm going to continue for the for the foreseeable future anyway, and making videos and seeing exactly where I can go there. As for my channel and kids watching it, I've labelled every single one of my videos and my channel as not 
for kids because quite seriously I've had to think about what my content is I've had to think about whether I swear in it and whether I don't now outside of YouTube I have pretty much like a lot of people I have a, I have a mouth like a sewer um, and um, that, that is my choice that is a choice I make that is a, a lifestyle choice that I like to have I, I enjoy where appropriate of course I enjoy imparting um, I enjoy swearing in 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 amongst friends and things like that I believe it does enhance your vocabulary I don't believe it actually takes anything away from you I, I and that those, those are my my thoughts and but on here I try not to add to uh, kids swearing now when I was younger everybody did and uh, everybody still does not stupid to that fact but at the same time I try not to I don't want to sort of be a part of that so I try and make videos where I don't swear that doesn't necessarily mean my videos are kid friendly now I fly quadcopters, I use 3D printers, I paint, I airbrush, I use a lot of solvents and a lot of chemicals. No, I don't take them personally, but I do use them in the painting process, in the curing process and, and, and a lot of things. And these, these chemicals, these solvents are very dangerous. So I, same as motors spinning, same as propellers turning, same as these very large cars that can go 70, 80 miles an hour. They're not kids' toys. They might be in a bracket of a toy-grade quadcopter or a toy-grade car, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is a toy. Um, now, I personally don't want a kid watching one of these videos and thinking it's a great idea to stick his hand in a, in a, in a propeller. Not that I've ever shown that. But at the same time, I want to take precautions myself. So one of the things I've done is label the channel as not uh, suitable for kids. And then all the videos individually I've gone through and bulk, and bulk edited them as well. And then I've gone through at random and chosen a couple out of all the videos to see what the actual um, designation is. And everything's up, is, everything has updated as I, as I thought and as I've done. Now, whether YouTube's algorithm wants to come behind me and change that into something else, whether it makes it suitable for kids, that's entirely up to them. Yes, okay, there is going to be a re <coughs> excuse me again. There is going to be a revenue hit. That doesn't necessarily bother me. I don't make these videos, and I never have made these videos <coughs> for the monetary incentive, for the monetary value. I make them because I make them, which is why they're at on a variety of different subjects, why I go into a huge amount of details in some areas and not so much details in the other because I'm constricted by time. So I personally think at this particular time of making this video that my, my content is not for kids. That is how I see it. Uh, if YouTube sees it otherwise, then they see it otherwise. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, that is just exactly as it is, how it is. I think, what do I think of, this is might be a bit sketchy ground, uh, but hey. Um, what do I think of the whole YouTube, YouTube job slash hobby slash whatever that is and, and people leave it. It's entirely their choice. Every single thing about this, you have to think of as a creator. You can't try and manipulate people into thinking any other way. He says, making a video. Uh, <laughs> the irony behind that is quite wonderful, actually. Anyway, um, it's entirely your choice. You have to think about what YouTube means to you, the amount of time and the effort you've put into it so far. In three months' time, this channel will be four years old. And um, the amount of time I've spent making videos, researching different things and giving you in what giving you correct information and giving you information that I, I believe is, is important is, is very time consuming. It's very enjoyable. So I, I'm not looking to go anywhere. I'm not looking to, to finish. My schedule has altered quite a lot as my as my things outside of outside of uh, YouTube have um, altered quite a lot. My whole lifestyle has altered a hell of a lot in the past few months, especially. And um, but there are always going to be videos, and, I, and as far as I'm aware, there's always going to be things that I am going to upload. So there's no there's no question of me leaving as of yet. If these let's call them purse strings get tighter then let's see exactly what happens there and by that i'm not referring to the monetary side i'm referring to the content and exactly how mo what we can do with it because if then they say that we can't show blades as in propellers we can't show this we can't show that then you know we'll have to see how it goes but um 
for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be making videos. Um, but as I say, as I see it, I see it as this channel is not kid friendly at all. If YouTube sees it otherwise, then that's entirely down to the algorithm and entirely down to YouTube. They might do just for the fact that I don't swear in my videos, so therefore they might think it's acceptable. Personally, I still don't think it's acceptable, but there we are. We have to go through there. So um, yeah, so that's it really. So quite a quite a, a longish video. Um, I think that the next few months are going to be quite interesting, seeing exactly how this twists and turns, and if it grows into something larger, or eventually if if it actually proves to work, if it proves not to work, we'll have to wait and find out. But um, I it it certainly is a, a very interesting time for content creators on YouTube. It's a very interesting time for seeing exactly how all this is going to piece together and seeing how how receptive people are to it and um yeah it's it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one i think and i think it's certainly one that uh, i'm interested in finding out exactly how that unravels over time uh yeah yeah so there we go anyway i'm going to stop sort of rambling on sort of getting into the into the realms of me just going off on tangents again then because I, I have a habit of doing that as you all know so anyway my friends i'm going to call that uh let me know your thoughts are you a content creator do you just watch youtube and have got no interest in creating at all what are your thoughts do you know anything about it you know just just this is just an open channel to chat you know i'm just interested i i always i may not respond to as many comments as i used to because it's very getting very difficult but at the same time um i'm interested in finding out your thoughts on this anyway and seeing exactly have you stopped stopped your channel have you got a reason behind it have you just do you not want any part of 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 youtube content creator just just let me know just it'd be quite interesting all right friends i'm gonna stop that there i hope you've enjoyed thanks ever so much for watching listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe and ring that bell too hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy Oh, I didn't think of an ending. Um, bye.